guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to set up a screen timeout in in upsheet so the idea of the setup is to restrict or to avoid any new entries or any up, updates if there was no activity in less than let's say one minute so i set up this app in less than one minute in if there was no activity then the user cannot add or cannot edit so i will show you how so this screen doesn't have a activity i did not add or i did not edit anything here so if i go to a plus sign it's showing here you are not allowed to enter a new data please sync the app so even though there is a warning and user tried to add and they cannot save it same goes with edit they cannot also edit any anything here they cannot save as you can see because there was no activity in less than one minute so in order for them to edit or to add a new data all they have to do is to refresh first <clears throat> Now, I can edit. And also, I can update or I can add. You are allowed to enter new data. Okay. So, what will happen if, again, I did not, uh, I don't have any activities in the this particular table and uh, in one minute. So the, I set up this app in one minute. So let's start the timer. So I will not do anything with the app. I will not add. I will not update. Let's just wait for 60 seconds. So this is uh, very useful in case... Uh, you you wanted to to let the user see the latest data so they don't have an option but you are forcing them to refresh first the app then they can add or they can enter a new data i mean or edit a new data so currently we are in 41 42 seconds so let us wait if it's 60 seconds i will go back to my app and add a new data <clears throat> Okay, should be all good. I will stop this. I will try first to edit, if I can edit. As you can see here, you are not allowed to enter a new data. So there's a warning. See, I cannot edit. And I cannot add as well. All right. I can only add an update if, again, I want to refresh the app. See, I can edit, I can add, and I can also update once I refresh. Okay, so let me show you how to do this, how to do the setup. So in my database... I mean, in the I have this table, so this is the data we're in. This is the table that I wanted to restrict editing or adding if there is no activity, and you have to add this table which is sync. So, in this table, it's a read-only table. You can name this column as you like, and also you can put a text value here as you like. Then once you added it, up sheet. Let's review first this sync table which is this one so the first thing you need to do is to keep it as read only make sure once uh before you keep it as read only in the database you already added the value the text value then we have to add the virtual column so the virtual column you can name you can name this let's say date 
date time then you can apply here an expression or a formula is now and then save <clears throat> And then, um, let's save first. Okay. So here, I wanted to put the... What is it? Okay. Let's fresh. And here, we need to go to a table wherein you want to monitor or you want to restrict, I mean, the entries or editing. So in this case, this is the data table, which is this one. So in the data table, you, want, you, you need to select which uh, column you wanted to display the warning. So I will choose here the text table. So here the ID is my key column and I want it let's say I want to put it here. And then you go to data validity. Okay. Then we need to apply a valid if expression here. So we're gonna use first, we're gonna calculate the minute, then date time. <coughs> time so I need to put now then we need to use the expression lookup so that we're gonna look up the table which is this table the sync table so I'm gonna look up the value or what whatever you put since I put text here I put the timeout text I will enter it here okay. which table we're gonna look up the sync table so this is the sync table here which is the sync table and then the column that we need to look up is the updated updated and what is the return column the return column is the is the virtual column that you just created that I just created then here we're gonna so plus so now the first expression here is whatever is the time now we have to minus minus the lookup in the sync table then here we're gonna insert hour then we need to get the hours so hour is date time then now then we have to minus b lookup <clears throat> so in short we are having like a duration type here lookup then here is the time time out what is the okay then <clears throat> in the sync table I'm going to look up in updated and the return is date, <clears throat> date, time, column. Okay, then we're going to multiply it by 60 and okay. And the last, the last portion here is for you to decide if it's less than one minute. Or you want less than 10 minutes or wh whatever you like so I, in this case I'm gonna just put one okay so now it's then you have to copy this expression so basically we are minusing the current date and time now versus the table in this table the sync table which is the date time which is the which is a virtual column i'm gonna hit save <clears throat> then we're gonna add uh 
add the virtual column here and I'm gonna just keep it let's say our info or let's say a warning or let's say an info then I'm gonna just paste that expression here and then oh sorry it's just like this and keep it as as a show type column and then you go back there category is a text then content like this so here we're gonna put an so if it's uh, less than one minute there is an activity so we're gonna put you can enter a new data for example <clears throat> you are or let's say updated make it simple otherwise reload or reload the app for example like that then i'm gonna use if here okay so this is in our content so reload the app like this so if it's less than one minute then that there is activity then the text should be saying updated and otherwise reload the app and also we can apply some um ux here format rules new format like a color or like a warning sign so this one should be <clears throat> let's say old data or let's say uh, let's say load for all data <clears throat> then we're gonna choose the info which is the show type column and we're gonna apply this row filter condition like this so we're gonna just here remove this <clears throat> And then remove this and paste this into more than one so meaning this is a <clears throat> if it's more than uh, one minute then this warning should trigger then let's put a text here warning let's say this one <clears throat> okay and also uh don't forget to what's it saying no worries and also don't forget to add that column in the form view so i'm gonna add here Now let's try <clears throat> and I'm gonna refresh the app also all right since I just refresh the the application I can add a new data so you can see it's saying here updated I can add I <clears throat> okay I can also edit it's saying here updated okay and then i i did not i will not touch the app and i will start this uh timer so there is no activity in the screen i mean in the app we'll see what will happen So while you're waiting, I will sh flash the formula what that I use. So put it here in the text column. 
and go to a data validation validation and use this expression so you can modify this expression as you like so you can put it less than five minutes less than six minutes ten minutes as you like and then for the warning sign you have just to copy the same app and <clears throat> use the info and show type column categories text and just insert if statement if it's less than one minute it's updated and if it's more than one minute then reload the app also you can apply a format rules in the ux and format rules here so in format rules you have just to if it's all data just instead of less you paste that expression you paste that expression and instead of here you can just put more than okay and then let's try <clears throat> now it's more than one minute so i cannot add see reload the app See, i cannot enter and also i cannot edit anything saying here reload the app. all right thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video